Hit his area with 51. Everything in the butterflies. Go get your man. And I feel like butterfly gonna recap this. So all oh, y'all wanna know what happened. I'm gonna tell you what happened. He got smoked. You better hope I'm listening. You already know what it is, man. Salute to the subscribers, that notification gang, etc., etc. Don't let none of that get too far ahead of you. You know where I be. Follow me on IG, Vida underscore Fly. Tell your mama I said hi. Salute to every single one of y'all out there. And my brother, Showtime SP, and also BLS Collections for the fresh cap. Yeah, yeah, yeah. BLSC. My guys over there. But check this out. Um, Briz, 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 Briz. Um, I know there's been a lot of talk about Briz Rothstein in the past months because we haven't seen Briz Rothstein battle in what's going on two years now. You know, he hasn't battled in a, in a minute. The last battle that we've seen Briz Rothstein in was the two on two Murderland versus Park Life, Dark Life ended in a brawl. And, um, you know, since then he's been through a lot. He lost his man Zayd. AKA dude with the orange shirt who was throwing down in the situation and it's just been a roller coaster ride for Briz Rothstein ever since. You know, he's been he was supposed to battle Murder Mook. That battle didn't happen. It was pushed back and Tay Rock battled Murder Mook and Briz Rothstein was supposed to come back again and then it just it just never went the way it was supposed to go. You have Briz Rothstein throwing mud at URL. URL putting out the statement, the battle couldn't happen due to two fierce competitors not seeing, you know how that shit be. So now it appears like Briz Rothstein will be returning to battle rap. But uh, me and Briz, I spoke to Briz Rothstein um, just via messages back and forth. And his thing was, you know, he did, he did, he never gave me the indication that he didn't want to battle anymore. You know what I'm saying? It was more so how he was being depicted in the business. Like he wanted the business to be right. He wanted things to be, you know, suitable for all sides involved. And they could never really see eye to eye. So that's why his battles wasn't happening. He didn't want, it, it wasn't like he didn't want to battle anymore. And I've said this in other blogs, you know what I'm saying? Like we all go through ups and downs and shit in life, you know what I'm saying? But at the end of the day, as long as you continue to be a productive citizen in society and do things that's conducive to your development and growth, et cetera, et cetera, skip the BS. So, um, I said to Briz, I, I, in, in blogs before, and I know he watches this stuff. A lot of people do. Salute to everybody who does. But check this out. I said, you're going to stand in front of that ground. Whatever, whenever you do battle again, you're going to stand in front of that round. Everybody's like, what is that round? When Geechee battled Tay Rock. You know, I'm tired of these niggas. You know why your seatbelt don't work? Because you don't ride with your... You're going to stand in front of one crazy round where everything that's happened is going to be put on the forefront and you're going to feel like that round is never going to end. Like, you're going to stand. Whatever battle that happens, that round is going to happen, right? But after that round is over and you are in your bag and you are killing sh like whoever the MC is, you can overcome anything you undergo. It can happen, you know what I'm saying? Like, you got into a fight. The fight didn't go your way. It is what it is. Life goes on. Briz has a lot of fans. Before Briz Rothstein left, right, battle rap, I call him box office Briz. Briz was wilding. Briz had the battle versus Young Ill. High beams, low lights. He, he was the one who first beat. He didn't just beat Loso. He body bagged Loso. Like he be, he destroyed him in a one round battle. Like he that was it's almost at a million views. It's like oh, I think it's like eight hundred something thousand views. Um, he did he 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 fried him. You know, like that was bad. Like real bad on bullpen. Briz was one of the most entertaining battle rappers. You know, the Mac Brown lead a body hanging halfway out the bag like hash browns. Like he was a, he was a polarizing figure in battle rap. You know, it was Tay Rock's right hand man, Cave Gang, etc. But him leaving left a void, like an entertainment void, because he's a very entertaining. Briz was one of the type of MCs that could battle in big rooms, that could battle in small rooms, that could tear down big stages. Him and T Top would do the two on twos and things like that. So 
Let's get to um, today's agenda. So, ARP tweets. My guy, at Briz Rothstein, salute. You know, just a tweet. That's just a tweet. My guy, salute. Nothing major. Briz Rothstein says, oh, yes, sir. Shakes hands. You know, Twitter, tweet, 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 tweet. tweet. And then Briz Rothstein uh, tweets what makes me feel like this is going to get handled. He's going to battle again. And it's going to be on RBE. I could pick the two opponents that I think it's going to be. But normally when I have these notions, they normally follow through. Like, this is not, I don't, like, shoot into the wind. You know what I mean? When I really, and then I hear things, too. So, Briswell seems to it's settled. We're doing it ourselves. They're going to wish they never played. Follow me at the real Rawstein on IG. Dark side, time be on my side. Pound sign, Marshall. Let's break this down. It's settled. We doing it ourselves. We're doing what ourselves. They know what we're doing. We're handling the business. We're getting a battle done ourselves. They're gonna wish they never played. Who's they? They is URL. Like you can read, you can see, you can break down every round that I've sketched about. There's nothing slicker than the tools in a rusty shed house. You can break this down real easily. They gonna wish. Who's they? They gonna wish they never played. We're doing it ourselves. What is it? Is it gonna be him battling Murder Mook on Red Breed Entertainment, doing it himself, or him battling against Hitman Hollow? on Red Breed Entertainment, doing it himself. Now, there's a lot of ramifications that come from that because, like I said, we haven't seen Briz Rothstein in a while. Is Rust gonna be there? Is he gonna be able to still perform at that high of a level? I don't really think that should be an issue because, you know, he, the, he's a battle rap at the end of the day. And I've said it before, you know, people would, uh, people, different people would hit me up and they'll tell me, like, oh, Briz Rustin works here. Or he does this for a job and that for a job. And, like, at the end of the day, it really doesn't matter to me. Because when people, people have jobs. A lot of battle rappers have jobs. Like, if you're not a top, 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 top MC, and I don't know what he does for a living, you know what I'm saying? I'm just putting it into perspective with saying that battle rap is a freaking source of income. Averb said the other day a lot, battle rap is making people that don't battle rap money. A lot of money. People are making money that don't battle rap. I'm a person that makes money on battle rap that doesn't battle rap. So I know for a fact that the people that are actually in it, like Briz is making easily five figures of battle. Easily. You remove that for two years, listen here, huh? Just to go up there and rap for 12 minutes, nine minutes, three minute rounds, four minute rounds, you need that. You need that. I don't care who it is. You need that. Like, that ain't none of us doing that good to where, and then when the thing is you do battles, people do merchandise, uh, the music, everything, it, it moves together. You know what I'm saying? So when you have all of that involved and you take that whole spectrum of life away, it definitely means something. You know what I'm saying? So uh, Briz Rothstein tweets that ARP salutes my guy salute. ARP is a very calculated, strategic guy. He doesn't just put stuff out there for no reason. Like He's not going to say, at Briz Rothstein, my guy, salute. He does that because he knows that is going to get a reaction from different people. That is going to cause things like this. Like, I'm going to be talking, other people are going to be talking about it. And, and, and just basically saying, yo, Briz Rothstein is coming back. Do not be surprised if you see. See, the thing is, ARP does straight business. When I say straight business, it's like this. You hire somebody to do a job, right? You pay the person to do a job, they come do the job, that's the end of it. That's why you'll have different MCs who will try to shit on RBE, like, oh, RBE, G League, Game Ray League, yada, yada, yada. But listen, when niggas go over there, niggas, you never. When have you ever heard somebody who battled on Rare Breed Entertainment, MC wise, say they didn't get paid, they didn't get paid enough, they didn't get paid on time, ARP was funny with their money? You never hear that. You know why? Because it does straight business. As I said, straight business. You hire a contract to do a job, they do the job. He's not doing jobs predicated off the fact that, oh, if you battle on King of the Dot, I can't fuck with you. Oh, if you battle on this league, or he don't do none of that. Like, it's not none of that. It's just, if I want said MC to battle here, he battles here on this date. Here's his contract. He gets the work done and he, gets, he keeps it moving. You know, every league can't say that. I get, I get it. Niggas have vested interest in certain MCs, so it has to be that way. You know what I'm saying? They got caffeine. You know what I'm saying? Like, that shit is a whole thing. But for real, for real, people only really watch that shit when live events are on. Like, when a live battle is on, is when they're going to get the most of their traffic. Like, I've I seen a lot of MCs and things like that have shows. But 
I don't know if that's really clicking. Niggas ain't really watching that shit like that. I'm going to just be honest with you. But um, back to Briz. Uh, They're going to wish they never played with me. Who is they? Who is they? You know who they are. These niggas is not speaking in hieroglyphics. They're speaking straight up but without saying it. And Briz has went on record before calling Beasley a snake, saying, you know what I'm saying, shit like that. Like, I've blogged on things like that where he said that, you know. And he was not happy when the statement came out, that long statement like, oh, dude, the two MCs, one MC was booked and they backed out the battle at the last minute. He didn't like that shit. I know he didn't. I, he, I got the messages. I'm not going to put them up or nothing like that. But I literally have the dialogue from when me and him spoke after that because I blogged on it and he hit me up. And he was saying that he never signed a contract in the first place. So how could he back out of a battle that he never signed a contract for? And I said, you know what? This nigga's right. How can you back out of a contract that you never, how can you back out of a battle that you never got a contract for? He said he never got a contract. But the way it was predicated and viewed by the public was that Briz was going to battle move. And he backed out at the last minute. And that's when Easy had got the battle and then move. Found out that niggas was not picking him to win. Niggas was like, yo, you about to get smoked. And then he was like, nah, I'm good. And that was a smart decision because he was not going to be easy to black captain in front of that crowd. I don't, after what I just saw versus Reed, there was no way at all. Easy Black had an 8-0 on the URL app. There was no way he was getting out of there with a win. No way. Not at all. I don't, listen, that's another story for another day. But there was no way he was going to beat him that night. So for him to not take it was a smart decision. Shine's got him. We'll see how that goes. So, um, where where Briz Rothstein went wrong, you know what I'm saying? I say, uh, I be having these things in my mind where I can think of where the MC went wrong. Where Briz Rothstein, the things that he did wrong was taking this long to come back. Like, taking this long to come back is a very, very long time outside of battle rap, not battling. Wherever you was going to battle, whether it be Rare Breed Entertainment, whether it be URL, taking this long to come back is a very, very, very long time. And the bar is going to be set so high for you that if you don't meet that goal, it's going to look like, damn. You know what I'm saying? That's where that's number one, that's number one mistake where you went wrong. You know what I'm saying? But it's happening now, so it is what it is. Um, number two, where Briz Rothstein went wrong as far as like, you know, not having a, a, a valid presence on social media. He does now, you know what I'm saying? He's on Twitter. I think he got his Instagram. Yeah, he said the real Briz Rothstein has got an Instagram back. I think he lost his other um his Instagram. He had an Instagram before that had a huge following, right? And I'm just pulling it up to see uh, where where he's at now. But this is uh, number two, where Briz Rothstein went wrong. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Briz, let's see. Oh, yeah. So he has an Instagram now, the real Briz Rothstein, that has 1,500 followers. He had an Instagram that had almost 100,000 followers. He lost it. I don't know how he lost the Instagram, whatever the case may be, but losing that kind of a following on that kind of a platform is where he went wrong. And not having a presence on social media where you could steer your own narrative, like not being able, like not having your own channel. He has a YouTube channel, but he doesn't really use it like that. Not having a, a big presence, like when something happens and somebody says something about you or URL paints a narrative or tries to make it seem like you, you're not having a platform where you could voice your opinion without, I mean, he has a, like I said, he has a new Instagram that has 1,500 followers. There's very few people in battle rap on his level that only have 15 followers on IG. You know what I'm saying? Follow me on IG. If I don't underscore fly, tell your mama I said hi. I'm almost at 10,000. Fuck with me. But that's number two where Briz Ross name went wrong. So those two things are like the, the two things that I would say where he went wrong. But he did a lot right in his scenario. Taking your career into your own hands. You know, not backing down, not bowing down, not making nobody force you to battle. Because I know when he didn't battle Mook the first time, it was because Zayd had passed away and he wanted some more time. Caffeine's on the schedule. They like, no, we're doing it anyway. They could have waited, but they decided not to, and they put Rock in his place. So, um, you know, Briz was a rock in a hard place. But uh, uh, salute to Rare Breed Entertainment. Salute to Briz Rothstein. I want to see Briz Rothstein back. I've tweeted about this. I've blogged about this 100 times, and I will continue to do that. From what he's done, from the work that he's put in, to how talented of an MC he is, I want to see him back, whether versus Hitman or whether versus Mook on Rare Breed Entertainment. If he was to battle Murder Moon on Rare Breed Entertainment and take that battle from URL, that battle 
on Rare Breed Entertainment would be their highest viewed battle ever and would be their highest selling pay-per-view ever. And everybody would buy. I, that's box office. That is box office. And the leverage that Rare Breed has is that they've booked Murder Mook before. So if they got Murder Mook before, they can get him again. Murder Mook said he would do the battle, things like that. And if you got Briz Rothstein on your side, showing public affirmation to this company, you put both of those two together, you could definitely be in for something really big. But overall, I have not said it before, but Briz Rothstein is returning to battle rap. And if you ask me, I believe it's going to be on Rare Breed Entertainment. We'll just leave it like that.